it just it, it screams scam the whole time. Situations like this stink. This one, I don't know why, even for the amount that this one was, this one bothered me a lot more. guys welcome back to the channel I have another what soul video for you today uh, this one's going to be a little bit longer than normal only because this was two weeks worth of sale items that we sold uh, we were sick uh, stomach bug hit part of our, our household so it hit on a day that I normally edit my what soul video so I said you know what I'm gonna upload another video last Tuesday and I'm gonna give you guys a double what soul video for this week this video is filled with some bolos some items you shouldn't pick up and more importantly another return uh, this return has been one that's bothered me for a while it finally just got closed out I'll give you guys an update later on in this video to show you the outcome of it and also why I think this one was a little bit different than some of the other returns that we've had so let's get into it I don't want to keep you guys any longer okay so after two days of not selling anything we finally sold something this golf bag is going out $42 plus shipping and luckily I already have a box here from the U-Haul store and it'll fit in there perfectly and this will probably get shipped out either FedEx or UPS just because of the weight and the dimensions it will be way more expensive to go postal service and it's also going from Pittsburgh to Arizona go figure okay I already got the bin down uh, let's see Star Trek 3 is heading out $2.24 this one was open. Uh, I picked this up at a garage sale last year. We do pretty well with Blu-rays normally, but this go around whenever yard sales come around, I'm usually only going to pick these up if they're sealed and then probably lot them up. But I thought Star Trek 3 would sell faster than it did. Next, we're going to go grab a video game. One Piece Grand Battle. It's this one right here. Yep, Grand Battle One Piece. This is a Japanese video game. PS2 that we bought on whatnot for like three bucks. We end up getting twelve dollars and ninety nine cents plus shipping for this one. So really cool game. Uh, really cool Japanese stuff. Look some of these up because they are worth something and they're super collectible. Okay, so the next thing going out. It took me six months to sell one of these. And now I've sold three within the last like four days. This is one of those Busby. This is the Boyd's Bear uh, thing right here. Got the sticker. Uh, this is the Be Happy, Busby Be Happy one. We end up getting $5.99 plus shipping for this. We had four of these. Somebody bought two. Somebody just bought another one. So we have one left. We picked these up out at a thrift store out in Gettysburg while we were on vacation. So finally happy to see these things moving. But one more left. So if you need it, you better go pick it up now. And then we have a vintage shirt lot listed on our eBay store, which is a random shirt. So we are going to pick a random shirt out of this pile right over in front of me, right here. One of these shirts here will be sent to this buyer. They paid $11 plus shipping for it. So they're going to get a vintage shirt out of this pile. I'm not going to show you what shirt it is since it is random and the buyer, whenever they get it, if they happen to watch the video, I don't want to see them see me pull it out of here. But maybe in the future I will just because they should get the shirt by the time the video comes out. And if they happen to watch our video, they won't see their shirt being pulled before they get it. But we'll see how that works out. Okay, just sold two things really quickly. The first thing's in the Magic Kingdom bin. It's right here. Yep, that just happened. Well, I guess I'm going to be cleaning that bin up. Uh, Beauty Super Fu Food Evolution 18. Uh, Walmart clearance, it expires 5 of two, tw 2022. So coming up, glad somebody bought this now. Uh, $9.99 plus shipping. This was, like I said, the Walmart clearance. We have, we have about a couple bucks into it. So didn't make too much, but it's getting out of here. We have one more left, so if you're looking for it, go we'll pick it up. And next up, we have a vintage shirt going out. This is an Alan Jackson shirt. It is a size large. Uh, just the front hit, I think, was on this one. Maybe there was a back hit on this one. $29.99. This came in a lot that we purchased from Rally Root. So happy to see this one go out. And it's a really, really nice vintage shirt. So... Good to see this one go. 
and I did get the bin put back up. Nothing broke in it, thankfully. But that's what I get for not pushing the bin all the way back in. Because once I moved this one out, it kind of hit it and knocked it over. Okay, next up, we got some VHS tapes going out. These are the most expensive VHS tapes in the world. The Disney Classic Black Diamonds. We got an Aladdin, a Bambi, a Cinderella, 101 Dalmatians, and another Aladdin. All five of these are heading out for a total of $12.99. So, these do sell. Not for a lot of money, but they do sell. Us personally, we love picking up black diamonds, especially when we can pick them up cheap. Now, I'd rather pick them up sealed, but sometimes, hey, it just doesn't happen that way. So, you have to just make do with what you can, but black diamond VHS tapes do sell. One thing that we did start to do, unless it is the uh, Little Mermaid band cover, if we find enough of these, we will lot them up and sell them. So you can usually average about two to three dollars per VHS tape. So when you're out there and you find them at a quarter or sometimes even cheaper, pick them up, especially if they're sealed. Okay, so the next thing we have going out is this Wander Franco 2022 Top Series One Rookie. Now, when I pulled this card, these cards were going for about twenty-five to thirty bucks. Well, since the market got flooded, it is now going for about nine dollars and ninety-nine cents. Which still really isn't too bad. So we got $9.99 for this one plus shipping. Uh, and it's going to be heading out. And we also have one more of these listed. So if you're interested, go check it out. Okay, we're going to go ahead to the Magic Kingdom bin and grab this next. Uh, this was the, whatever, it's like the Superfood Powder. Beauty Superfood Power. We had two of these. Sold one yesterday. Sold one today for $9.99 plus shipping. So both of those are finally out of here. That's... It was weird. It was a Walmart buy in the clearance, and they finally sold. Next up, we are grabbing two of these. They are these Kidnasium Bouncy uh, Bands. It's supposed to be for movement, uh, brain power, teamwork. So they go on a chair like this, and the kids can bounce their feet. One buyer just bought two of them, so we are down to three of those so perfect pretty cool finally getting those out of here too so the next item i kind of messed up a little bit i actually pulled the item set it off to the side it was kind of bigger and i meant to film it and i didn't i just packaged it up and realized wait i didn't show you guys the item so i'm gonna pop a picture up on the screen either this side or this side not 100 percent sure yet but we sold the instapot do a nova 8 quart lid this was just a lid only it did have the ceiling ring and had the steam release with it and the vent knob, which usually always comes with it. But this was the lid we parted out from our Instapot. Whenever a backstory on this one is we had an Instapot, we didn't use it anymore. We wanted to get rid of it. My wife was like, oh, we'll throw this away. I said no. I said, when in doubt, part it out. Well, parting it out has paid off because we've actually made more on this Instapot than if we would have sold it whole which is crazy and honestly it didn't take long to take apart a few screws here and there I really wish I did a video on that part too I failed there but still pretty cool uh, thing to do we ended up getting $25.99 plus shipping for just the lid a lot of things can happen with these if somebody drops it their lid breaks the handle breaks the st stuff like that breaks it could just be cheaper just to buy a new lid than it is to go actually buy a brand new instapot so when in doubt, part it out. Always keep that in mind with some of these items. Just because, hey, if they're easy to fix, parting them out is a way to go because it can be cheaper for that consumer who's going to buy your item just to buy a replacement part. And guess what? If you're one of the ones that have that listed on eBay, you could have a really quick sale. Okay, we're heading to the Gettysburg to grab a hat. This hat we picked up at a yard sale. It's a vintage 19. It's a vintage 80s hat. Most valuable player from a silver slipper in Las Vegas. We got a whole whopping total of $4.99 plus shipping. It's one of those real flimsy hats. Really, really good shape considering the age. Uh, you can see right there. So you have super, super nice hat. $4.99. We probably have about 50 cents into this. So really, really nice little flip. Okay, next up. Wander Franco rookie card out of the 2022 Top Series 1. $9.99 plus shipping. A ton of lowball offers, but we held our ground and we ended up getting our full asking price. Next, we're going to Gettysburg to go grab a brawl. Because, hey, guess what? We sell brawls. This is the bin that actually fell. Picked this up in a two pack from the Amazon bin store. 
we broke out the two-pack because the bag was damaged. We ended up getting $4.99 for this one and $4.99 for the other one. So, hey, brawls are good pickups if you can find them. And this one's actually new without tags, too. So some of them do sell for more, but we ha usually have pretty good luck with brawls. Okay, let's go to the Magic Kingdom bin and grab a VHS tape right here. This is the Dumbo sealed VHS tape. A little bit of opening down here at the bottom, but this also has a free Casey Jr. tray inside. We got a whole total of $4 plus shipping for this. I don't remember where we got it at, but it's out of here. Next up, we're going to the Ocean City bin to get a clock right down here. This Tinkerbell clock right here. Pick this up, I think at a yard sale. Brand new, still in the box. We got $19.99 plus shipping for that one, which is pretty cool. Nice, cool alarm clock. We had it a while, a couple lowball offers, but then somebody finally bought it now for the full price. Next up, we have this 1986 pewter figure. These two bears riding a bike. Uh, we got this in the huge a lot of pewter figures. We got nine, and we ended up getting $9.99 plus shipping for this one. So, a really good purchase there. Okay, next we have Los Angeles King's Puck going out, $3.01. We have two more of these, I think we do. So our pucks are really running low. So if you're looking for hockey pucks, blank ones, check out our eBay store. Link is down below. We only have a few left to select teams. Okay, so next going out is this 2012 John Cruck fan favorites autograph. From, uh, I think it's some archives baseball. Yeah, pretty cool autograph in blue. This is a pack pool auto that I did purchase from Cincinnati Picker. We ended up getting $10.99 for this. So this is heading out to a new home. Uh, I, I purchased it and realized, wait, I already had one. So I got rid of the one. Uh, John always has a cool autograph here, as you can see. But yeah, $10.99 plus shipping. But while we're sitting here listing on eBay, we are watching... Miss Mojo Casher right here. She's going to be selling some vintage shirts on whatnot. I've purchased some stuff from her and I've also won some giveaways from her. So go give her a follow. Go check her out. She usually has some pretty good shirts. I uh, won't be disappointed. So next up, we have a Mark Recchi two-card autograph lot. This is the one card, and I'm going to show you the other card. It's right here. These two cards right here were signed. Uh, I got these signed by Mark a couple years ago when he was a coach with the Penguins. So, sold both of these cards because honestly I didn't have any use for them, plus we had a bunch of them signed. This was only listed for about 12 hours or less, we ended up getting $9.99 plus shipping for both cards on that. So it was a really good deal, uh, nicely signed in blue sharpie too. Mark has a really cool signature and he's a member of the Hall of Fame. Okay, next we have some nail polish going out. This is a big purchase that we made, I think it's this one, yep, ballet shoes. Uh, we sold two bottles of this one right here five dollars and 21 cents because if you bought more than one you saved some money so this was actually our first auction going out where we did free shipping now we normally don't do free shipping but it seemed like with nail polish free shipping was the way to go so guess what that's what we did so first time ever using free shipping and seemed to be paying off right now i mean it's the first two that sold but as you can tell here, we still have a ton left, uh, but we've been selling through it little by little. I mean, we had over 90 bottles, I think it was, and we paid $3 for it all, so we've definitely made our money on this so far. Plus, my kids have used some of this too, and it's really paid off. Okay, guys, I think the return has made it back to me. I just got a notification that somebody was at the door. You are my man. Let's see if it's in there. So this return right here, uh, it was a Google Chrome, and it was brand new, sealed, and it was never open, brand new, sealed. Uh, the buyer got it uh, within about 28 days. He stated that he opened it up, or it, it, it came damaged with no power cord, and the pictures he sent me, the Google Chromecast was completely, was dirty and everything. Almost looked like somebody switched it out, which that's what I think happened. So I'm going to open this up. I'm going to check the serial number from the box and the Google Chromecast, and we're going to find out if this thing was switched out. I, I just can't see how this thing was dirty inside. I think that somebody had a Google Chromecast that was broken and honestly flopped it out. And I don't want to sound like a pain here, but I really feel that I'm getting scammed. So I'm going to open this up. That's why I'm going to do it on camera, because 
I want to see, and I'm, I'm really curious to know, it, honestly, the serial number might not match up because they could have had the old box too and just swapped out boxes. So they just kind of wrapped it in paper. Um, yeah. I. Yeah. Person said that they were on vacation in South America, so they literally returned it. How eBay gives you a month to return stuff, which I think is dumb. They literally waited until like the last day that they were supposed to send it out and shipped it back. And they just wrapped it in paper. They couldn't even put it in an envelope. So the box is not damaged, which, based on the pictures, it was. Let's see, it looks like he gave me a note or just a packing slip. Damaged during shipping. Well, the box looks brand new. It's taped. Which is a good thing. Let's see. I honestly, I, I don't know. I'm not even sure what to think right now. This return has bothered me. So the serial number that's on the box does not match what is on, it won't even focus, it does not match what's on the back of this. So what happened here, and I'm assuming, I, I don't want to make any false accusations, but what I'm assuming is the buyer or somebody, I'm not saying the buyer, maybe it was a family member, because he did say a family member opened it, somebody flopped this out. So. Yeah, so I guess now I'm going to contact eBay and find out what happened. So I've reached out to eBay to find out what I'm going to do next. Um, I have a feeling they're going to still make me refund 50%, which would be about 10 bucks. Uh, so I may be out a couple dollars on this. They're definitely going on our block list. Uh, I don't want them purchasing from us anymore. It just it, it screams scam the whole time. I mean, two days before a return policy window and then it was oh two days before shipping it back it was almost like they didn't want to ship it back they just wanted me to refund them to see if i would hold out and i held out and i was waiting for it to come back because i wanted to i wanted to compare the serial numbers on this thing and it definitely does not match up and and this thing was brand new sealed and it still had the google seal on it so i, I don't know it's uh situations like this stink uh returns usually come in three and this was our second one we also had our arlo pro camera return too which went a lot better than this one uh, this one i don't know why even for the amount that this one was this one bothered me a lot more than some of our other returns but i'm not gonna let this ruin my day now uh it did for a little bit but i'm not gonna let it ruin it anymore hey guys if you made it this far already please hit that thumbs up down below and also leave a comment it helps out the channel so much when you guys comment and hit that thumbs up now back to the footage okay our next item going out is this leak frog scouts friends game brand new sealed two dollars and 99 cents i have no idea where i got this at probably a local thrift store or a goodwill maybe even a yard sale who knows we've had it a while though i feel like because it was in a bin that we haven't touched in a while so I'm glad to see this one head out Next we're heading over to the Costco bin which is already out and I listed this and it sold within two hours. It is a vintage Tupperware eight cup measuring cup or measuring like bowl pitcher. Gets, uh, yeah, cup measuring pitcher with lid. Uh, really nice shape. We love selling Tupperware. Uh, we love using Tupperware also but we didn't have a use for this one because we already have some. So we end up getting $14.99 plus shipping for this one. Okay, so the next thing going out is this Hulk Hogan 1984 LJN figure. Uh, really good shape considering the age. Like I said in previous videos, some of these, a lot of paint's missing. You might have some gouges in them, but I did try to clean it up as good as I can. Uh, we ended up getting $20 plus shipping on this one. This is probably one of the more iconic figures from that set. 
Uh, it's just, it's Hulk, I mean, from the early 80s, so really cool figure. I would like to find one in better shape just to put on display up on the shelf, but this one's finally heading out. It looks like we have two more left. We have the Junkyard Dog, and we have Hillbilly Jim. Now, we had two Hillbilly Jims. My kids ended up keeping one of them, so we are down to officially two of these left. Okay, it's time to go get some pantyhose in this bin, which we hope, since half the time it seems like I can't find a thing. So, let's dig through here real quick. I think these might be it. Vintage legs. I think these are it right here. Control top. Let me double check. Vintage legs control top. Sheer. Black pantyhose. Size Q, I think it is. Yep, size Q. I don't need, I think we got these for free. I think somebody gave these to us. We ended up getting $6.99 plus shipping. So put them in this bag. Uh, yeah, I don't know if the date's on here, but yes, they are vintage. So keep your eyes out for the vintage pantyhose. Now we're going to go to the Ocean City bin. We listed the hat. We took an offer. I figured, why not? I only had about a dollar or less into this one. This is a vintage California Angels hat. Probably from the 80s or 90s. This is when they used this logo here. Really good shape. Really nice hat. $12.50. So super happy about these two sales heading out here. Okay, next up we have a Jared Kellenick. 2022 top series one black parallel this is the 1987 tops reprint uh this is numbered out of 299 uh we pulled this out of a break that we were in well that a box that i actually broke we ended up getting 14 dollars 99 uh jared's going to be a top prospect for seattle hopefully can make the big leagues this year and show some good skills that he has so we'll see how he does this year Okay, next up we have this Chris Bryant 2020 Tops Heritage. This is the action variant. It shows him gr getting ready to ground the uh, field a ground ball. We ended up getting two dollars and seventy-five cents for this. We took an offer. It was only listed for about, I'd say, two hours. We had it listed at two ninety-nine. So we made a couple. We made some offers back and forth, and we came to the conclusion of two dollars and seventy-five cents. So really good deal there. Now, for a lot of my sports cards now for under $20, I've been using this envelope. This is an eBay standard envelope. I purchased these with my uh, my shipping credit that I get for shipping supplies through the eBay store. Now, these are really nice. Now, for this to ship at a rate for the standard envelope, it has to be less than three ounces, less than a quarter inch thick. And I think the dimensions are five by seven. So this fits underneath of it. And usually one card like this will ship here. And if it's about two ounces, it's been shipping for about 75 cents. So I'm able to charge $1.50 shipping and it covers the shipping. Now, you do not get tracking with this, the standard envelope, but with a cheaper card like this, hopefully you should be okay. Okay, next we are going to the Permantes bin right here. We are going to get out a wrestling figure. Uh, yeah, it's a cane figure, which is signed, and I'm actually going to pop a picture up on the screen, only because I already have it wrapped up in bubble wrap, so I'll pop a picture up on the screen, and you guys can see what it looks like. We ended up getting $29.99 plus shipping for it, uh, signed in silver paint panel on the front, so really cool item, and like I said, the picture will be up on the screen. Okay, next up is a direct TV remote. Oh, we picked up these remotes, a big box of them bunch of different ones last summer at a yard sale, at a state sale actually if i remember to i'll put the link up above but we ended up getting two dollars and 99 cents for this one uh yeah it's the model right there direct tv remotes a lot of times don't sell that great but since we picked up a lot i think it was eight or nine remotes uh last night we started to clean them finally got them going they were all good except for i think two of them i ended up having to throw away so I listed them. This one I listed a little bit less than what all the other ones were for just to move it and it sold pretty quickly. So happy to see it go out. It is light so it's just going to go in a padded envelope and go first class. So the next thing we have going out is this mystery box. We sold this on Poshmark for $25 plus shipping. This package weighs just a tad under five pounds. This is going out to the viewer Stephanie reselling and stretching a buck. Thank you so much for purchasing this. I hope you enjoy everything that's in here. You also got the box. It has some one-on-one -on -one artwork from our youngest daughter on it. She was drawn on the side of this before I packaged it up, so I hope you enjoy it. Next up, we're gonna go to the Gettysburg bin and go get Cookie Monster. Uh, 
kid love co cooking them, so I can't believe she's letting me sell these. I think it's somewhere down here. There it is, right there. It's these little play school figures. Uh, I think it's only like, what, two or I think it's like a three inch figure. Yep, three inch cookie monster. Four dollars and twenty five cents. We have two more of these available, and then we are out of cookie. Okay, now we're going back to the Gettysburg man. Sold a pair of pants, dress pants we've had for a while. Um, one of these, actually, I think it's this one. I think it's the only one we have. It's in that box. Forty-four by thirty Hager, cool performance. Let me make sure that's it. Forty-four by thirty. Yep, bark color. We end up getting, we end up sending an offer out for these for six ninety-nine plus shipping. Picked these up for about a buck. Uh, we sold a couple other pairs we had, and this is finally the last pair we have. Now, we're going to go get a putter, which I think is in this corner. It is. It's back here. Let me see if I can grab it. I might be on camera. I don't go. There we go. It is a custom clear putter right here. Look at this thing. It's pretty cool. Uh, we've had this for a while. Paid a dollar for it. We sold it for $9.99 plus shipping. That's going to be heading out. Custom C3 putter right there. Really good shape. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure if it was probably used, but I should have probably used it, but I ended up selling it instead. Next up is this Built the Bear holder. We've had this thing way too long. It came on a Build a Bear we sold. I thought, man, let's sell the accessories. Good idea, bad idea. We ended up taking an offer of $1.59 for this plus shipping. We won't do that again. If I find some of these accessories, I'm just leaving them on the Builder Bears. Okay, we're in the Punta Cana shelf for a handle, a faucet. I think it's this one right here. Chrome finish lavatory faucet. I think that's it. Ultra faucets. I think. Eh. Yep, that is it. The Ultra faucet 8043C, as you can see right there. It's basically this. I think we have. Next to nothing into this, 50 cents or a quarter. We got $5.99 plus shipping. We got this also when we bought all that nail polish. So it's not a super expensive faucet at all. But if you're putting it in the bathroom and you need something, maybe in a rental home or something, this is perfect for it. Okay, now we are going to the Easton shelf to get some window clings. We're going to grab this Cooper style one here. I'm going to actually set the camera down real quick and grab one. Actually, no, I grab it out. There we go. These are a Walmart clearance haul. Uh, Right here, it has three window clings. We ended up selling this for two dollars and seventy-five cents plus shipping. So super cool there. Uh, we got nine more of these ones available, and we actually still have a bunch of some other ones too. So if you need some window clings for a car and you're a power fan, reach out. Okay, so the next thing is the Son of Monte Cristo VHS right here. Uh, maybe we have like a quarter into this. We sold it for three dollars. Plus shipping. Whoa, brand new sealed. Uh, that's how we sell VHS tapes now. So super cool to see that one go. Never even seen this one before. So video treasures from 1990. It's a really cool one there. Next up, we sold the terrible towel ashtray. Eleven dollars and fifty cents. This thing in the last twelve hours. Somebody sent over an offer. We had this at twelve ninety nine. We took it. We offered eleven dollars fifty cents. As I'm sitting here packaging this up, I am watching some primetime treasure hunter. Uh, he's going over the reseller, the new reseller fees. Go check them out. Go check it out. It's really fun to watch. Okay, so the next thing we have is an autographed pocket. It never even made it to the shelf. It's still right in here. It's right here, actually. Yep. Mike Lang autographed Pittsburgh Penguin Stanley Cup puck. Signed in blue. Let's see if it's going to focus. But it has a COA from Total Sports Enterprises here in Pittsburgh. He is actually a Hall of Fame announcer for the Penguins. We ended up getting $19 plus shipping for this buck. And then we're off to Disney World over here. Which is right up here. And it's actually going to be these two right here. This is that Carp uh, Antiperspirant Foot Lotion. We ended up getting $14.99 for this two-pack right here. I think this was a Walmart purchase. Uh, Walmart clearance. So not a bad deal. For those two. This was one of the Walmart clearance purchases that actually paid off. So if you happen to see these out in the wild, grab them because they do sell. So that's this What Sold video for you guys. Hopefully you guys uh, found this What Sold video interesting. I know it was about two weeks long because, hey, we got sick, had the stomach bug, and I was not editing videos. So 
Hopefully with some of these items, maybe you'll find out in the wild and hopefully you can sell them on eBay to make a profit for yourself and your family. So until next time, guys, remember, stay safe, stay healthy, and keep picking. Bye, guys.